Hey guys, RC here, back with, we'll see if this becomes a new Let's Play, I want to at least check it out, so honestly, if you see this, it worked, and I figured out a way to do it, or at least do it in a way that I'm happy with, you coming up here or what, come on you, come on you, you down there playing, say hi, say hi kettle, say hi, yeah, um, so this is uh, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20, uh, just recently released by Wolverine Studios, Gary Gorski and uh, his team over there. Uh, so wanted to give it a shot. And the reason I'm doing this is I did the kind of introduction video to it uh, a couple of weeks ago when it first came out. And honestly, over the last uh, few weeks, it's probably been my top viewed video. Uh, so, uh, evidently a little bit of interest for it. Uh, we are on the cusp of pro football season starting here in the States, if you're watching this outside of uh, the United States. Uh, so, what I've done at this point is I've just created the league. Uh, I have gone in and edited the names. And if you're not sure how to do that, uh, you go to the drop down and you change between National and American. You can click on all the teams here and then go down to team info. And right here is where you can change out the team abbreviation, the team mascot. So naturally, uh, all of the uh, logos are from the default. And uh, there's no mods out right now that I can find for updated uh logos and whatnot for real teams so we will make do hopefully those come out down the road but at least right now we have the real team names so at least we'll be seeing something familiar uh, team colors are pretty pretty standard uh, so if we go in and look at the the cowboys for example you know at least you've got the star and the the blue and silver and you know, uh, same thing. Why anybody would want to look at Philadelphia, I don't know. But you've got some kind of uh, handicapped bird in there, uh, green and white. And, uh, you know, same thing with the Redskins. Uh, a tank, I'm not sure what that has to do. Military and fighting, I guess. I don't know. Cowboys and Indians from when we were kids or when I was a kid. I don't know. Uh, if you're younger, you probably didn't play that because it wasn't politically correct, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the orange and uh, red and yellow and whatnot. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and that other team, uh, the Giants. Um, shout out to Eddie Trunk, big Giants fan. And I'm a big Eddie Trunk fan, even though he likes the Giants. Uh, still like the stuff he does with uh, with the metal and the, the rock world. So let's get into it a little bit. So this is your, uh, your main screen here. We're just kind of browsing around. Uh, let's take a look at our, uh, da, da, da. it's kind of hard to see all this, but uh, team management. I honestly, outside of creating the league and choosing my team, I haven't even looked at this game. So I haven't looked at this game since version 19 came out, PF19. So, um, let's see, we should have a roster in here, yeah? Here we go. All right, so if we look at the quarterbacks, and I'm not exactly sure how this is going to come out, but we'll, we'll take a look at it. So what, what I did in the setup is I just had the, uh, the real players. We're starting in 2019, the full league, 32 teams, 16-game uh, seasons. Uh, so this is the actual rosters as of the start of training camp. Uh, or, you know, for, for each team should be pretty accurate. Uh, so we've got Dak Prescott. We've got Ezekiel Elliott, who's not holding out. It doesn't appear. Uh, <laughs> Tony Pollard, uh, Mike Weber. Is that the Ohio state guy? I didn't even realize he was with the Cowboys. Um, I'm not a Mike Weber fan because, uh, he had, uh, committed to the university of Michigan and then he uh, reverted and uh, ended up going to Ohio State, and he was a Michigan uh, player, so uh, traitor to his state, uh, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, didn't have a great career at uh, Ohio State. Too bad. Sucks to be him. 
uh, and he went undrafted. So, you know, whatever. Payback's a bitch, karma, and all that other stuff. <laughs> uh, Zach Martin, uh, let's see, L Lyle Collins, uh, Travis Frederick. Hopefully he's recovered from uh, his Liz Frank. I think it was the Liz Frank uh, injury he had last year. Foot injury uh, sounded horrible. Uh, heard uh, there's a guy called uh, Mark Schlereth. He, he's a... He's a really good lineman, uh, played for the Redskins and the Broncos. Uh, he does a podcast called the Stinkin' Truth Podcast. And he uh, he actually had that, he said, and talked about it a little bit and just what it was. It was just sounds horrible. Uh, anyway, so there's our roster. We have Amari Cooper, Randall Cobb. So... Uh, here in the first episode, we're just going to kind of look around, get used to what we're seeing. We'll try to advance and maybe do one game. Uh, if you haven't watched any of my other uh, series or anything, check those out. But typically, we go, we try to keep our episodes to about 30 minutes. These may be shorter, just depends on what we're able to do because I don't know if we're going to be able to actually watch any games. I don't know if it'll just be Sims and then going through uh, uh, stats and, and results and things of that nature, but we'll figure it out, and that's going to go a long way towards determining if I actually end up posting this video or not. So first off, let's get to the office. We're here. We have no emails in our email, so that's fine. Uh, let's see. We want to go to... Depth chart right here. Um, seems to me that all right. There's just there was some stuff dealing with like this I mean there should be there should be a way to have your oh okay there we go uh, so go all right so yes AI that's kind of your AI select all right and you can choose who you want to do it all right so that's good so we have Dak Prescott, uh, Cooper Rush, and White. I don't remember his. Uh, Mike White. So first thing we'll talk about, and you'll and you, you'll notice uh, I kind of do these in a tutorial style sometimes. I try to explain what I'm seeing, what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, that's just how, how I feel comfortable doing this. But one of the things that I remember... Uh, about the, the games in the Wolverine series is you see these OVRs, uh, OVR 92, OVR 73. This is a rating system, and it's a little different from what you're probably used to seeing. So typically out of the park, uh, Bowl bound college football, football manager, they just have player ratings, right? And since I do a lot of football manager, we'll compare to that a little bit. So in football manager, you might have a guy on your team that is a three star uh, current ability, five star current potential, uh, 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 potential. So three star current, five star potential. And you know, you go two or three years in the future, you sign, you know, you sign new players, you buy new players, you sell players off, you have youth intake, and your roster morphs, you know, a little bit. And then, or you might buy, get a, you might hire a new uh, assistant manager that is the one that has the uh, uh, evaluation skill, and maybe he's better or worse. And so, you know, two years from now with a new coach or new players, all of a sudden you notice that guy that was 3-5 is now a 4-4. Uh, four, four. You know, so now he's 4 current because a couple of years have passed. He's got two more years of training. Uh, and, and that's 
caused him to go up in current ability, but his potential now has dropped from five stars to four stars. And that could be because your coach now has a better idea of him because maybe he's a better evaluator. Um, or, you know, maybe even in the same season, you know, you have that guy that's three, five, and then you get a new coach that has better evaluation. And all of a sudden now he's a, a, a two, three. And so, but, but that rating system there is based on just your team, just your team. So it's only, you know, it's, you know, you're only comparing against, you know, if he's a five star, it means he's the best player on your club. Whereas, you know, if, if you, if you bring in a couple more five stars, well, then some of those three stars may drop to two stars because they're not as good in the scheme of your overall uh, roster. Now, this works differently. They use what they call an overall rating. And then they have individual ratings. So interceptions is a 97, arm is a 90, accuracy is a 79. All of these kind of work the same way. Again, this is from what I remember. So this is judged against all the quarterbacks in the entire league. So if you, you know, if you put, so he may actually have a 99 rating, but if there's say seven or eight other guys that have a 100 rating, that's what's driving his number down. Uh, same thing with Rush. He's a 73. Well, that's compared against every other quarterback. So, uh, and you can use this to gauge the, ability difference between the two as well as looking at their individual uh, ratings for each thing so you know, like we can see mike white has a 74 arm which is a better arm than cooper rush but cooper rush's accuracy is a 79 compared to white's 68 so you know, you, that's, you know, all of those factor into their overall rating. So basically, we're going to use the OBR rating as a determination. And then again, what could happen is at the end of this season, we're going to have a new draft and we'll, we'll draft new players. And we're going to bring in guys from college. Now, those guys will be fictitious in this in this game. Um, but, you know, if we if 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 a handful of quarterbacks come in that have very high ratings or develop, then Dak could go from a 92 to an 86 or, or what have you. So just something to think about. So, you know, you can see it, you can't say that a, a, a 79 is horrible or just average, uh, but, you know, it gives you an idea in the scheme of things where they rank. And it also gives you an evaluation tool when you're comparing how to upgrade, you know, whether you're upgrading a position. But, again, you can't use that as a be-all, end-all. You have to kind of look at the other, the other things as well. All right, so that's going to be our depth chart. Uh, we are going to uh, save that package. Um, all right, so there we are there. Um, I formation. All right, well, offense. So we've got the offense in. Let's go to the defense. I'm going to ask my defensive coordinator to set that. All right, so Collins, Hill, some 70s, a 73. Looks like we really have a interior line issue that we want to maybe upgrade but you know it's like anything else we have a we have a we have a salary cap so we can't just sign players all right so we've got Leighton van der Esch, a 79 might be a little low jalen smith an 82 uh which is all right sean lee a 91 uh i wonder if we scroll down to him i wonder if there's a uh No, uh, I don't know if there's an injury factor because if you're a Cowboy fan, you know Sean Lee has been uh, injured a lot over the over the years. All right, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go to special teams, and we're gonna have the head coach pick that. And you can sort these out yourself. There's drop downs here. 
Uh, so there we go. All right. Let's see. So you have your league leaders. These will rotate around. That's just what everybody is now. Uh, down here we have our current record, our salary, our cap status. So we have $16 million left under the cap. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to look at? Let's go look at this training. And... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is where you set your... You can't exceed 25 points. So basically, you know, you can change this to whatever you want. But we're going to go uh, one more physical, one more athletic, two positional, and one game tape. We're going to save that. 6, 12, 18, 24. That should be 25. Yep. All right. So I'm not getting a save not getting a save confirmation but that's all right uh let's go ahead and advance because i don't know really where else to go right now uh so let's advance so we're in free agency um all right well let's let's go back and look at our roster and we do have 16 million dollars but again we have to sign players for next year as well um Show by, well, let's just look at quarterbacks. Is there a, oh, contracts, there we go. All right, so this gives us a lookout as, you know, uh, up to seven years. So Dak is play, uh, making 4 million this year, 4.8, 5.5. I wonder if they know something that I don't know because I thought he was a free agent at the end of this year. And then they could sign him to a fifth-year option. Well, I don't know. Anyway, so it doesn't look like we need to address quarterbacks. All right, so I'm just going to highlight that, and then I can use my up and down keys to scroll. So Ezekiel Elliott's got a year left. Uh, looks like everybody's fine there. Fullback. I'm looking. What I'm looking for is anybody that's got a gap in 2020. And it does not appear that we have any issues. And there's we're all the way through the defense. So. We don't have any guys that are coming up on their contract year, so that's good. Nobody that we need to uh, take a look at. So let's look at uh, let's look at our roster. I'm going to go back up to here. So again, what I'm looking for here is our OVR and seeing if we might want to upgrade anywhere. Now you you know. You, you can't really afford dead money, so signing a really good backup quarterback for two, three million dollars might be good if Dak gets hurt, but right now that would just be dead money, right? Um, let's see, OBR. So I think, you know, we actually have four pretty decent running backs, or three other decent running backs. I don't think we have a big hole there. Fullbacks. You would argue that you would want at least one backup, but if you know in the NFL they don't play a lot of fullbacks, so I think we're okay there. Jason Witten, and then everybody else is pretty rough. Might want to upgrade that position. Alan Hearns. I'm surprised they have Alan Hearns rated higher than Amari Cooper. That's weird, but all right. <clears throat> We've got two good guards. A semi-decent backup, but even our two starting guards, I mean, that's a big gap. Tyron Smith. <coughs> Looks like they're going to carry... Now, Joe Looney plays center, but he's actually a guard in real life, so I, I'm pretty sure. So he can play multiple positions, one punter, one kicker. I think all that's good. 
they, D- Dallas is not spending a lot of money on their defensive line. Most of their, or at least not their defensive tackles. Uh, they do have um, Tyrone Crawford, uh, Demarcus Lawrence, and uh, Robert Quinn that they have signed uh, that are making some money there. Uh, they do have pretty good, one of the better linebacker cores in the league, I think. And you can see we've got two 77s. Jordan Lewis out of Michigan. I like him a lot, man. He was really great. And he was drafted, so these numbers are not completely accurate. Um, yeah, okay. I'm wondering if this means undrafted in the game. I'm guessing that's what that means because I, I know for a fact, you know, because it's showing undrafted for everybody. But oh well. Um, yeah, so let's go look at, free agency, so we can go down here and sign free agents, and what we can do is we can filter out anything in particular that we're looking for. Uh, if I want to only look for, let's see, clear all, and let's look at uh, defensive ends. And then we can sort <coughs> by OVR. So we've got this Marcus Golden out of Missouri, four-year veteran, 28 years old. Uh, he has an 86 OVR. So we can pull him up. We can compare player. Uh, to defensive ends just for our club, right? And then we can have this drop down, and then there's all of our guys. So we know he's an 86, which would actually make him our second best defensive end now we do have a lot of defensive ends so maybe we don't want to go that route maybe we want to look at uh, defensive tackles the one we were actually really weak at yeah so that's Corey Leggett played for uh, Detroit didn't he maybe Tony McDaniel So anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to sign anybody. I mean, we have our full we have our full complement of players. I want to go ahead and sit on some salary cap, so we'll sit on this. So let's go ahead and advance. Uh, I'm going to run all days because I'm just not looking to sign anybody. All right. So preseason. So there's all there's your signings. So your news headlines. There you go and view free agent report all right so they have one player that still has an offer from the or his favorite offer is from the dolphins no other bids all righty and let's see no emails so keeping an eye on this right here all right so we're going to training camps we already set that now you can Okay, so we have we have this. You can make different. I think you can make different uh, training schedules, but I, I'm oh yeah right here default schedule. So you can add new schedules, and then you'll have different setups for different positions, what have you. Uh, over here we've got some news. Training camps are open. We have the headlines over here, uh, but. We're, I'm just going to go with the default training, so we're going to run training camp. All right, so here's our quick results. So uh, we have uh, Harris, Will Harris of the Lions. Uh, well, I don't care about all the teams. Let's just look at us. All right, so uh, Frazier, Kavon Frazier, our strong safety, gained 13 points, and Jason Witten lost 12 points. Uh, not good. 
Joe Looney lost three. So, you know, you can see a, some small increases. We had one big increase. Jason Witten had our, our bust out. And if we look at him now, well, he's still an 83 OBR. So, uh, but, you know, coming back after a year off, 37 years old, you know, sounds about right. So there's our training. There's our first email. We got a training camp report from our coaching staff. Uh, breakdown of, of, you know, what happened. Uh, so Frazier made remarkable training uh, progress. Uh, a woozy worked on tackling. Noah Brown, strength and intelligence. Uh, let's see what they said. So Jason Witt Witten got some intelligence. He's a veteran, so smarter. Lost a lot of physicals. We're going to delete that email. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the preseason. And we're going to... So we have to click on the game. Here we go. Now we can play the game. So first off, let's look at the matchup. Uh, the logos are not there, which is all right. No big deal. Uh, injuries, we just have fatigue. Uh, out one to two weeks. Really? Really? Damn. Oh, well, this is preseason. That's fine. All right. So we want to go. Um, oh, and I think I turned this to only have two preseason games. So let's just sim the game. We're going to simulate the week. And then we want to go back up to week two, and we can look at... Uh, all right, so 37-24, Dallas wins. We can look at the box score. Dak Prescott, player of the game, 26 out of 40, 324 yards, two touchdowns. Demarcus Lawrence, eight tackles, one sack, 17-point third quarter, 17 first downs to 12, 420 total yards. And if we go down here, uh, Pollard, 19 carries, 94 yards, 4.9 yards a carry, two touchdowns. Alan Hearns and Amari Cooper, both over 100 yards receiving. Hearns picked up two touchdowns. That's nice. And I'm just, when I look over here, again, if you're watching this for the my channel for the first time because of this series, when I look over here, I have a second monitor set up, and I'm looking at, just to make sure my face is centered in the recording, and I'm also looking at my time. So right now we're at about 28 minutes, so getting to the point where I would want to uh, drop that down. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I am going to look, I'm going to go into preseason week two. I'm going to play the game, and I'm going to see how that looks, because I think if I have to play them out completely, I don't think I want to do that. Um, mainly because it would take too long, right? And this, you know, I like these to be, you know, pretty quick where we can get through seasons. And, uh, you know, and in my football manager, basically, I'll do two games. Uh, and, you know, we can watch those, but it's only certain highlights. So, I, you know, and, and the game actually controls just about everything outside of, substitutions and whatnot but uh, I want to check this out to see how this works uh, so I'm going to do that off camera for the second preseason and then uh, we'll come back for the season opener and we'll figure out the format again if you're watching this I, I figured out a way that I think it's at least palatable uh, to present to you guys if you never see this which you won't see this part <laughs> then it means I, I uh, I couldn't figure it out, and I've scrapped the idea of doing this as a uh, as a save. So thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. That'll help you uh, get notifications if you hit the little bell uh, when I get new videos put up in this series. And uh, all right, we're off to play Miami in the preseason, but we'll see you guys uh, if we scroll ahead uh, to open up against Washington for week one. Take care. Bye.